Hi guys, Ronnie here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm in the process of building four of these awesome compact foldable beds. I'm going to give you a tour of the inside of this thing. Before I do that, I shot some footage unfolding it, setting the bedding up, pillows, blankets, everything. So let me show you that while I tell you the backstory of why I'm actually building four of these things. So this upcoming holiday season, we have a lot of family coming in from out of town. In fact, we have four more bodies than beds. I offered to put them up in a hotel room, but they were having none of that. They said, just throw some air mattresses on the floor, they'd be fine. Well, being a woodworker, I got an idea. I thought, why not build them their own bed frame to go with those air mattresses? They'll have their own headboard, nightlight. Heck, I might even put a candy cane on their pillow. As you can see, this is about as compact of a foldable bed and a twin size as you're gonna get. Now, this is my prototype. Since then, I've built two more. I have one more to build. So I've worked up a set of very detailed plans. If you're interested, links in the description. Go step by step. There's templates to show you where to put the hinges, everything. Now, let's get back in the shop and I'll give me a tour of the inside of it. Okay, the overall dimensions of this foldable bed, 16 and a half inches deep, 41 and a half inches long, and 10 and a quarter inches high. That's it. Again, about as compact as you're gonna get for a twin size bed. Now the lid turns into the headboard and it's supported by a 36 inch continuous or piano hinge. I've got a lid stay hinge on the right to keep it up. And as you can see, it won't fall that easy. Once you get past it and it does start to drop, it's a soft close. So I've got the side rails Velcroed together inside. You can see, again, not a lot of play. I've got uh, side supports here, put them so the sides won't bow down from the weight. And what else, I got the, again, the lid stay hinge. Um, I have a printable template in the plans that you can print out when you're doing this corner piece and it shows you exactly where to put the bracket onto the corner piece, how to put this up on the lid, everything, every, I got everything worked out out of hours of frustration trying to figure this thing out. Uh, we got seven slats on the foot, three on the front end, 10 total. They have to be in this configuration for everything to close and fit just right. Uh, we got the blocks spaced out for the slats and it's a uh, pretty compact, efficient design. So coming up next is a time-lapse video of me putting one of these beds together. So for those of you who decide to get the plans, you'll have a visual reference to refer to as you go through step by step. Also in the plans, I have links to videos specifically on how to put the hinge, the lid stay hinge on. That'll save you a lot of time and frustration. So here's the time lapse.
So like I mentioned, I have four of these to build for the family that's coming in from out of town. But once they leave, these aren't going to go to waste because we just had our fourth grandchild. They're all under four years old. There's going to be plenty of times for them to come over, spend the night at the grandparents in a cool, foldable bed. How cool is that? So if you're a grandparent or you have friends that come over and you don't have a lot of space, why don't you pick up the plans and build you however many you need to build? Impress your friends and your family with a nice foldable, collapsible bed. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.